Police in Louisiana arrested a man after he went swimming in the aquarium at a Bass Pro Shops. Employees said they would have gotten him out if there were only some fishing gear nearby. <laughs> Jimmy, 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 come on, oh, James. Oh, wait. Jimmy. Well, uh, Michael Jimmy. Che. Jimmy. Michael Che is here. What? Jimmy, Jim, Jamantha. <laughs> a guy swimming in a Bass Pro Shops aquarium and that's the best you can do? What, you, you think you can do better? You're damn right. Oh, that. my God, oh, my God, Colin Jones. Colin Jones, you too? Well, you know what this means. It's time for a good old-fashioned Tonight Show Joke Off. All right, I think we all know the rules, but I'll repeat the setup. Police in Louisiana arrested a man after he went swimming in the aquarium at a Bass Pro Shops. And go. Beep, beep, beep. Weirdly, he was charged with being too sober for a guy at a Bass Pro Shop. <laughs> Even worse, uh, he wore his face mask as a banana hammock. <laughs> the guy wasn't in jail very long. It was more of a catch and release. <laughs> boop, beep, boop. <laughs> <laughs> so move over, up. Bass Pro Shop's Aquarium is now the saddest Pixar film. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, SeaWorld was like, for 50 bucks, you could do whatever. <laughs> they were able to catch him by baiting the hook with a little bit more crack. <laughs> All right, it is time for round two. Here's the next story. A 94-year-old Virginia man received permission from Wrigley's to be buried in a casket shaped like a giant pack of juicy fruit. Go. A beep. The man plans to be buried on the underside of a middle school desk. <laughs> <laughs> permission? What are they going to do, kill him? <laughs> uh, at first, the man's family loved the idea, but then quickly realized it was tasteless. Beep and beep. Right now, right now, there's a carpenter taking measurements with a roll of bubble tape. <laughs> beep. So in a thousand years, archaeologists will still wonder, what the hell is the fruit flavor supposed to be? <laughs> beep. And here to read the eulogy off a giant wrapper is Bazooka Joe. <laughs> All right. Final round, here's the last story. After 43 years, Chuck E. Cheese announced they filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Go. Beep. So, there... <laughs> I started with way too yeah, much Yeah, you beat, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you came in hot, man. <laughs> Sorry, I'm back Came in hot with the beep. So. <laughs> no, it doesn't say so. <laughs> Sorry. Beep. Yes. <laughs> Wow, so there might be some flaws in the business model of rat who sells pizza to children. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, but before you close, I think my kid is still in your ball pit somewhere. Sorry, just. Which I think means that in 2024, Chuck E. Cheese will be president of the United States. Oh, there you go, right there. That, that was joke off. Give it up for Colin Jones, Michael Che, everybody.